Good morning, everyone. At this time, can all sergeants please start the recordings? Sergeant Gatowski, you may begin with your opening statement. Good morning, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing of the Committee on Governmental Operations. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video? Please place electronic device devices on vibrate or silent. Thank you for your cooperation. We are ready to begin. I am Council Member Fernando Cabrera, Chair to the Committee of Governmental Operations. I want to start off by thanking the members of the committee joining us today, Council Members Al Perkins, myself, ours, uh, Majority Leader Combo, Council Member Menchaca, Council Member Rodriguez, Council Member Yeager, Council Member Holden, Council Member Kalos. Today, the committee will be voting on a proposed intro introduction number 1950A, sponsored by Council Member Lori Combo, which will require the mayor to, to establish a task force to facilitate the safe reopening of agency offices and the safe resumption of agency functions in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. On June 16, the committee heard a previous version of this bill. Since then, the bill has been amended to require a task force rather than a single officer to oversee the return of the city's workforce to their offices. This task force will consist of five to 10 individuals appointed by the mayor in consultation with the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene and the Department of Citywide Administrative Services. The task force will recommend policies and protocols for agency office reopening and determine which operations and functions each agency must address as they make plans to reopen. Task force will also be required to share information regarding applicable federal, state, and local laws, regulation, advisory guidelines with city agencies. In addition, this legislation will require each city agency to develop a plan for reopening its offices safely. The task force will be required to review each agency's plan and propose changes to promote compliance with applicable laws, guidelines, and recommendations. Once an agency's reopening plan has been approved by the task force, the agency will be required to publish its plan online. The legislation also requires a regular reporting by the task force to the mayor and the speaker of the city council on agency compliance. I said this before, we must take every precaution as we begin planning a return to working in person. The risk to human life should not be taken lightly as we plan a return, even partial. We must take the advice of public health experts into account. I wanna thank the administration for the willingness to come to the table with, with us on this bill and to work together on the final product. And I thank our majority leader, council member, Lori Combo for her leadership on this issue and carrying this piece of legislation. I want to thank our committee staff, CJ Murray, Emily Forjong, Elizabeth Prong, Sebastian Bacci for their work on this. I also want to thank my own legislative director, Claire McLevain. I will now like to invite Majority Leader Combo, sponsor of the proposed intro, introduction number 1958 to give a statement. Thank you, Chair Cabrera, and I want to thank all those on the committee who are uh, on this day. I really want to also thank the uh, individuals that came out to testify. Uh, your testimony really helped to shape and pull to make it more inclusive, to make it more robust, and to make it more what every worker in the city of New York requires and deserves safety. Uh, we are seeing the country. Uh, COVID-19, they are having a spike. It's coming back. And it's so important that we make sure in the city of New York that we care for our workforce, that we make sure that we have a second wave of COVID-19. And that's exactly what this legislation does. It allows us the opportunity to the environment. There are so many individuals uh, that have many of the conditions that predispose them uh, to being vulnerable to COVID-19. 
those sheltered in place for the last three or four months mm -hmm. who are very concerned about returning back to work. So it's critical that we make sure that those individuals are that are going back home to their families that have vulnerable members of our community. It's critical that we have this uh, in place to make sure that they can come back home um, after working for the city of New York. In addition, I, I also want to add that this legislation um, is, has been made stronger. We didn't want to have, as this legislation began, just a single officer. So I am uh, pleased that there will be an actual office uh, with paid staff uh, that have experience and that we are going to take uh, the reopening of the city of New York into a centralized way so that we make sure that there's a checks and balance system so that everything from understanding how paid sick days is going to function and operate uh, to how we have a, a safe work environment in terms of the spacing of our desks, masks, PPE, and so many others. So I want to thank you again, Chair Cabrera. This is what we're doing today, and it's going to ensure the safety of all New York workforce. And I'm proud to work with you on this bill. Thank you. And I apologize. I want to thank my staff. I want to thank Tasha Young, my chief of staff. I also want to thank Jason Herr, my legislative director. I want to thank Alicia Mercedes uh, for working so hard in terms of the communications aspect of this. They worked extremely hard um, on all of this. And I want to give a special shout out to my scheduler, Jasmine Coelho. Because if not for her, I wouldn't be on this call today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Majority Leader Combo. Uh, in light of the fact that we see so many states where cases, COVID-19 cases are spiking, uh, this bill uh, couldn't come at a better time. And with that, I'd like to ask the clerk to call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on governmental operations, introduction 1950A, Chair Cabrera. I vote aye and encourage all my colleagues to vote aye as well. Kalos. I don't know. Mizell. You're muted, council member. Yes. Thank you. Rodriguez. Aye. Perkins. I don't know. Powers. Aye. Jaeger. Chairman, may I be excused to explain my vote? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. To be sure, uh, our city has suffered tremendously and I don't think there's anybody in this committee or anybody in the council who doesn't have family, friends, and constituents, uh, people we care about who have suffered tremendously, both uh, in terms of life and in terms of the economy. Um, today, we're voting on a bill to create a task force. I want to be able to tell my neighbors when they ask me what I did when I went to the council today, something different than that I showed up to create a task force. Yet another task force. Today we're showing up to do something that government is fantastic at doing. Creating task forces, commissions, blue ribbon panels, groups of people, instead of just doing it. Just do the work. The first version of the bill required a city restart officer, and I congratulate the majority leader for submitting that bill and bringing it to, uh, to this committee, because a single person responsible for getting the job done is what makes sense. But today we're being asked to vote on a bill that requires the creation of a task force. And I'm not comfortable going back to my community and telling my neighbors that I showed up at the council today to create a task force. With that, with respect to all those who worked on this bill, I vote no. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. By a vote of six in the affirmative, one in the negative and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you so much. And with that, with my phone, I gavel to close today's meeting.